deal. We, we saw you the first time around. We were a little hard on you because you left two women standing there. But I think to your credit, you don't want to propose to somebody you're not in love with. So that I know if I can watch from now on, are you proposing to somebody at the end of this thing? Well, okay, let me say this. I obviously can't say if I'm proposing to somebody. I will say. Did you get down on one knee? I, uh, I fell very, very deeply into love. And if, only if, I propose, I meant it. Meaning I didn't feel pressure. It wasn't for the show's sake. If I proposed to a woman, I meant it. So if it happened, it's a very real proposal. Is she moving to Texas with you? Uh, well, I, I can't leave Austin. I have some very deep-seated roots in Austin, and, and I made that clear. I, I know love is a compromise. I get that. That's one part of, uh, of love that I just can't compromise. You know, my, my life is in Austin. Uh-huh. Now, you, okay. well, oh, go ahead. Now, now, it recently came out that you have a criminal record. What were you arrested for? Can I, you know something? I'm so, I'm so glad you brought that up because I've been it's waiting been to address No, I really it's been am. brought up in every paper and everything. Yes, ma'am, it has. News. Um... Yeah. It was 20 years ago, and what it boils down to... And how old are you now? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm 38. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say it. I'm okay. 38 years old. I was a stupid fraternity kid. I had a fake ID. I tried to get into bars. I'm a stupid kid. I'm still a stupid kid, you know? And, and the only thing that's changed, I can get into bars legally now. You know, you'll find me in a bar tonight. So I, you know, the whole thing? You had a fake ID? That's it. I mean, it, I mean are very, very much... Are you stupid kid? Uh... <laughs> Wow, this is good. I, I really am so happy to say I did fall in love. I, I know you were so disapproving of, uh, of how it ended last time. No, and only 